What's happening people? I'm back in the kitchen again and today I am doing another new product from Iceland. Now it is in this range of £2.50 £2 um, range that they've just brought out. Now I did get a few comments suggesting that these are actually just the £1 range or the former £1 range that have been revamped, rebranded uh, and just basically tricking us into believing that it's a new product whereas this there is something different about this one and the one pound version which is still about by the way now i was going to get them both and compare but i don't want to waste any food and i've already have i have tasted the one pound version so this one is actually different it's not it's it's actually called something different as well they're adding premium fish into this this fish pie it doesn't just say fish pie like the one pound version it says haddock and salmon fish pie now, I don't think you get um, specific fish or in the, in the one pound version. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, as always, I expect you to. Um, but I think I have done a review of the fish pie. I think I did a mini series with all these, all the one pound um, products, one pound ready meal range. So I'm gonna give this one a go today anyway, see if it's any different. I do like a good fish pie. I, I must admit, I'm a, I, I get the mariners ones with the cheese sprinkled on top. I can't remember what it's called. Um, oh, you'll have to let me know in the comments what it's called. There's two versions of the mariners ones. One's got no cheese on and one's got cheese on. One's like yellow and one's like blue, the packets. I quite like them. Um, so yeah, I don't mind a fish pie. But I am the only one who eats them in, in this house, so I don't really get them often. But yeah, classic haddock and salmon fish pie. So you're paying for that more expensive fish. And as it shows on the picture there, you can see them pieces of salmon in there. So I'm hoping that they're really distinguishable and we can, uh, yeah, we can really taste it. So let's have a quick look at the box and the ingredients and see what percentage of fish is haddock and is, is salmon and what if there is any extra fish in there. Because it that could be, I'm thinking it may be 1% or 2.5% two, two, two salmon, 3.5% haddock and then 20% pollock or white fish or whatever it's called. So let's get down and have a look at it. So here we go, 400 grams and it is the certified sustainable seafood. So, get straight into the ingredients, that's what we're interested in, isn't it? Fish mix, 26%, and that includes haddock, pink salmon. Oh, that's it, so it's 26% fish mix and it just is haddock and pink salmon. And then you've got potato, reconstituted potato, Milk, cheese, it's got cheese in as well, cheddar cheese there, 5%. This doesn't look too bad to be fair. Them ingredients look quite good for a microwave meal. I was fully expecting whitefish or um, pollock in there as well. That surprised me. So we've got fish, milk, wheat and mustard as the allergens. And that is a nutritional information. 402 calories for this one. 30.6 grams of protein which is basically on a par with the carbs here, 33.4 grams of carbs, 2.7 grams of fibre. So it says, pieces of haddock and salmon in a cheese and parsley sauce topped with a mixture of mashed cooked potatoes and partially reconstituted dry potatoes and cheddar cheese. And you can micro... Oh, I thought it said microwave 45 minutes then. We're going to microwave this because... We don't need the um we don't need a crispy top on this it's already cooked so microwave from frozen eight minutes remove out of packaging pierce film lid several times you don't have to stir it or anything just eight minutes one bam thank you ma'am uh and the haddock and salmon in this product comes from a fishery that has been independently certified to the msc standard for a well-managed and sustainable fishery i have let this defrost to save on the cooking time so we're just gonna open they've got a little tab system there open this up there we go it is a little bit watery and there's something that's leaked because i've let it defrost but it looks like a fish pie i'm hoping that it's going to be really clear and we can see this nice pink salmon so i'll get this um pierced And I'll bring you back in eight minutes when it's ready. So if you've had this uh, fish, this new haddock and salmon fish pie, let me know in the comments now what you guys thought of it. 
And if you haven't, um, stay tuned and we'll, I'll let you know what I think of it and then you can let me know in the comments whether you're going to try it. It's not, every, not for everyone, I understand. Not everyone likes fish or fish pies or even cheese. Um, but I'll let you know what I think. You guys let me know what you think. And if you were, if you want to, while you're down in the comments, if you want to drop this a drop this video a like, it really does help and push push the video out to more people. And I massively appreciate it. Right, ten seconds left. Let's take a look at this. Okay, so here we go. Let's peel this off. Watch out for escaping steam. And there we go. So I'm going to actually take it out of the packet and put it onto this plate so you can assess how much there is. This is a standard size plate. I do get um, told off for just eating it out of the container. <laughs> but saving washing up, aren't I? It's only me eating it. But I'll, I'll take it out and show you. See if we can make it look a little bit. See if we can see any of this salmon and things. So here it is now decanted onto this plate. Let's uh, see if we can just dig in and have a look. So you can see a bit of salmon there. There is oh some nice haddock and salmon over there. Look at that. Nice big pieces of haddock. I think there is a little bit more haddock than there is salmon, if I'm honest. That probably makes sense. So not seeing much cheese if I'm honest. There's a bit of a was it a cheese top there? We'll see. See if we can taste it. Okay. Let's have a taste. Okay, so it's all important taste time. Now, before I spread it out when we went looking for the fish in here, it did look a bit a bit small, if I'm honest. Um when it's when it's actually in its pie um structure, half of the plate was empty. What goes with a fish pie? Because it doesn't show anything on there as a serving suggestion to go to alongside. What would you put with this? Maybe some broccoli? I think that's the only thing that comes to mind with me. Some broccoli, peas, maybe some mixed veg, and that's about it, isn't it? There's nothing else really goes with it. You want, we want, uh, yeah. Let me know in the comments if you guys have got any ideas or suggestions what would go with this. I think broccoli would be the best for this, but it has to be. Um, <laughs> the cats have arrived now because they can smell the fish. So I'll have a quick taste before they uh, they go mad and keep meowing all the way through the video. I'm just gonna let it cool down for one second. Okay, so let's have a taste. Now, I'm just going to get this, uh, I'm going to try to get some of this potato with cheese on because there doesn't seem like there is a lot of this cheese at all, really. So we've just got a little bit. I apologise about the uh, the lighting. It's, uh, it's quite late at night when I'm doing this. It's my supper. Yeah, the cheese is, the cheese is lost. Got a nice piece of salmon here though. Look at that. Pink salmon. Decent flavour. Bit of haddock here. That's all right. I mean, I much prefer my haddock is in a in batter. <laughs> We've got a bit, a, bit, a bit of parsley sauce here alongside of some more of this fish and basically this is a bit of everything now on this on this pork, look at that, on this spoon even. I do have a light shining so everything seems white but it's not. I can tell you that this, um, this there is pink salmon in here. It really is looking good. Mm. This is a really tasty fish pie. There is plenty. What did it say? 26% fish mix. It looks like a lot more, to be honest. There is absolutely loads of fish still in this. Loads of salmon as well. It's it's all appearing from nowhere. Mm. Oh, wow. Wow. I'm a big fan of that. That is head and shoulders above. Like your normal, the well, it's head and shoulders above the one pound uh, fish pie from uh, Iceland. It's probably, is it twice as good? Probably. 
well actually yeah it is i would highly recommend buying this over the one pound one even at twice the price this is really tasty you've got that rich salmon flavor and the haddock parsley sauce now i had a bit more cheese on top myself that's just me i do like my fish pies a bit cheesy and yeah i just heard that back <laughs> anyway keep your mind on the job and if you've got a dirty mind out there no no not on this channel this here is a nine and a half out of ten that is fantastic really really enjoy that that is cracking if you haven't tried that and you do like a fish pie i advise you to try that thanks for watching i'll catch you tomorrow for another food review and i hope it's as good as this